So today, <laughs> today. All right, so what do we got today? It's the Pretty in Pink. <laughs> now, this is brought to you by Era. That's the maker of this saw. Now this is a six inch cordless um, chainsaw. Now, yes, it's pink. <laughs> but my wife's in the background going, yay! <laughs> Because we both like doing yard work. She likes pink stuff. So whoever likes pink stuff, this is a perfect saw. Now it does come in blue. So it comes in pink and blue. This is the pink one. So let's see what's in the kit. All right. So like I said, it's it's by Ira. E-I-R-U-A-W. That's the maker of this saw. My wife's still in the background. Yee! <laughs> Oh, all right. <laughs> so this is a mini chainsaw. And the best thing about these, you're not gonna, if you're doing light yard work, you don't want big stuff. You want little stuff. Now, comes with a charger. Comes with a set of gloves for cutting. Comes with an instruction manual. And it shows you how to change the chain, the size of the chain. Uh, everything about this unit is in here comes with the saw comes with always have to have safety glasses <laughs> trust me when you're cutting stuff stuff's flying you don't want it in your eyes that's that's a bad thing okay now you also get two 21 volt uh they're about an hour and a half amp batteries um and these while you're using it last about 30 to 35 minutes ish so <laughs> When you're using it, you got 30 minutes here, 30 minutes here. That's an hour of cutting. So while these are charging, <laughs> you can sneak in the house and get you a nice cold glass of iced tea. <laughs> and then you got another, it takes about an hour to two hours to charge these. So then you have some downtime. Great excuse to go in and kick back for a little while while you're doing yard work. <laughs> so... They, they last about 30, eh, you might, if you're doing really light work, about 40 minutes. So 30 is like around the, the average. Now, this is the best part, the saw. So we do a lot of light yard work towards the end of the year and towards the beginning of the year. So with that being said, my wife likes nice tools. Um, she likes to do yard work. Now. The features on this, it's a six inch saw. It's got the kickback blade as far as particles go. It, it, it doesn't allow the main particles to blow back at you. That's what this is for. Now, new saws, as soon as you use them, the belts stretch a little bit. So you have to learn how to adjust these. And this is a nice simple adjustment right here. Loosen this up and that's your adjustment to tighten and then you just tighten it back up. So very simple. And when you change the blade, you're gonna take that off, change the blade, put it back on, tension it back up, and you want just a little bit of slop. So as soon as you use this, <laughs> like the first couple seconds, you're gonna to have to tighten the blade because new blades, they will stretch. They need to be broken. Now, you have your oiler. Very Another very important thing for saws, your oiler. Now this here, they state that you can use regular motor oil, like so, get the cheapest stuff you can get as long as it's motor oil, and you can use it in here, or you can use cutting oil. But a lot of people are on a budget, and they understand that. So they said you can go ahead and put regular motor oil, and 30 weights about the same weight as regular cutting oil. Now, you put it in here, it's got this little bitty cap, now, this is a very, very tiny tank because you're not going to be using this a super lot. You don't need a big tank, just a little bitty tank. And once you fill it up, you tighten this up and it's got this primer. So once you start pumping this, you'll see it drip out right here. That's when you know it's primed. You don't have to touch that anymore until you're totally done, till you refill it, till this is empty. So that's your primer. Um, it's got a nice grip here. For handle grip, it's, it's a softer leather, so it gives you that. And it's got 
The reason why they put patterns in here, it gives you better grip. Um, very durable feeling. It's got the safety right here, so you don't hit, hit your knuckles on anything because that's another good feature right here. It's the knuckle guard. <laughs> if, if anybody does yard work, you know you're going to hit your knuckles and you have to give your sacrificial blood because... Yeah. But there's another, another preventative is this knuckle guard right here. Now, battery's real easy. These just these are these are 21 volt here. Snap into place, and then here's your little safety button. Now you hit that button, and that allows you to pull the trigger. Now, another cool feature with these. Um, they don't tell you this, but <laughs> but say you you need to work through, and these batteries aren't going to be enough. Uh, and you're a Makita guy, which I'm a Makita guy. So, we have this. <laughs> now, on, on most of these, uh, the Makita batteries fit. So we're gonna try this out. <laughs> See, there you go, a little added bonus that you didn't know is uh, the Makita batteries working a lot of these saws. So if you have Makita batteries laying around and you wanna get more work done, if you're a workaholic or like to, like to do extra work and you don't wanna do that hours worth of work and sit down for a couple hours and get back to it, uh, yeah, they accept Makita batteries. So with that being said, now this, <laughs> this is a four amp hour battery. Now you have the generic Makita batteries. Now this is a 18 volt, two amp hour battery. So say you're really working it <laughs> and you have a generic version of the Makita. That's gonna slip in and <laughs> you're off again. All right, so with that being said, there's options, there's more options than you know about these saws. Um, like I said, they, they take more than just the 20 volt, this will also take the 18 volt Makita batteries and the 18 volt Makita clone batteries. There you go, save some money. So, this thing's very budget friendly, and I swear my wife's back there. I get it as soon as he's done, I get it as soon as he's done. <laughs> she's gonna calm down, she, 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 she can't wait. So, a, a nice little saw, and like I said, uh. Blades for these are really widely available. It gives you all the sizes in here that, that you need. Uh, it's, it's very easy to tighten the chain. It's got the little kickback arm. Now, the motor, see, I, I wrote some stuff down too. The motor, this is a six inch mini cordless pruning saw. It's got the two piece lithium ion batteries, uh, one point, or 1,500 milliamp hours, which is about 1.5 regular hours. Uh, pure copper, 650 watt motor. Uh, yeah, so the motor's gonna last you a while, it's pure copper. Uh, yeah, and it's not really heavy either. And once you put the batteries in, it, it's got a very, very good balance. So, little, little. So, yeah, it, it's not back heavy. It's just the right amount. So, let's uh, find out how it works. <laughs> so I'm gonna put some oil on this. I'm gonna go outside and grab some wood to cut and uh, we'll, we'll check it out. Be right with you. <laughs> right. So all you have to do to put oil in it is pump it. And then you can see So when it starts to drip, that means you're ready to go. Now, great for pruning. <laughs> so get that out of the way. Now <laughs> we have our stump here <laughs> that we've been cutting on for a while.
So it works pretty good. There you go. Works great. <laughs> All right. That's what we got for today. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time.